Bonjourno, everybody. Good morning, turtle nerds. It's um, morning time. I was up bright and early this morning at eight o'clock, which is not usual for me because Flipper has been like we saw last night, although I didn't show it on camera. She's been extremely, extremely restless. Like the way I like to put it is the last time that Flipper went to lay her eggs, she was being very particular. It's like when you're on a road trip and like you kind of have to go and you're like, Oh, I can I can wait and wait until I'm 45 minutes out from home. I can hold it. I can wait. I'll get home and be nice and comfortable. Compared to now, how she's acting is like stop at the nearest gas station, pull over. Like I, we're going. It's go time now. So to make her more comfortable and make sure that she can actually drop them, I have a theory that they absolutely hate the mulch. So today in our video, we're going to be removing all of the mulch from the pond area and replacing it with sand. Really quickly, my father was eating some strawberries, and it's fun. I like to take the scraps and give them to turtles. So we got two little things right here. We got butternut right here. We got the tops of the strawberries. Oh, he knows. Look, he knows. Cause when I wiggle my finger, he knows it's feeding time. Look, here you go. Like this new way of feeding him is, is so cool. Like his little personality now, it's only taken like a year, but he also likes to try to bite my fingers now. He just took a little nibble to see if he would like it. It's just fun. It's like just casually feeding one of the world's rarest box turtles. Like totally, totally chill. It's important guys to, you know, have fun with your turtles sometimes. Like this is a very, very enjoyable part of keeping this species for me at least. Look, look at that. Like that's so cool. I just love that he does this now. I, I, it's, it's really, it's really cool. Oh, okay. He's taking the whole thing. So we're going to drop this other one. Maybe throw it back over there. And when I come back in a little while, those will both be gone. Enjoy buddy. We will get to feeding everybody probably later. I want to go and get this done so that way Flipper can lay her eggs. These guys can wait, but Flipper probably cannot. Another car sequence. Uh, so we're going to go to the hardware store that's close to my house and not all the way to friggin' the orange one. That, I, I don't know. I'm getting sand. Simple. Let's go. So I've arrived and before actually going inside, you buy the sand inside and then you get it outside. I'm gonna go take a look outside and look at like, I just don't want sand that's like totally orange. If it could be white, that would be great. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go take a look. So here we go. We have an open bag already right here. And this sand is like a little bit, I don't know. It's kind of orange, but it's nice and soft compared to this sand, which is a better color, but it's a little like more gritty. I don't know, it's a little bit harder. So I think what I'm gonna do is just buy like five, seven bags of each and just mix them or layer them. We got our sand, let's go! And now unfortunately, before we can have the fun of adding the sand, I need to go through the pain in the butt that is going to be removing the mulch. Hi puppy. Hello. Excuse me, mister. Hi baby. Hi puppy. Just a few more bags to grab. I'm gonna dump these right here. And um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the beach area first. That way I can see how many bags of sand I have left over. And then however many I have left, I'm gonna come back here probably right past this little guy right here. And especially in that corner where they like to lay. I'm going to remove the mulch and put the sand. But it is blistering hot out. It's like 85 today. Great day to do this work. All right, turtle nerds, so I am so nasty right now, but we got our mulch removed and out of the way. We're just doing this back area and I'm doing something different here as well. So that way I'm not like constantly building up with material. When I redug the mini pond and I put the little waterfall filter there, I took all the dirt and put it back here. And so that way I'm not constantly building up. I'm taking out about two wheelbarrows full of dirt. So that way I can replace it with sand. That way it'll make the sand a little bit deeper and the turtles can choose their perfect mix of sand and dirt. So I'm gonna clean up, I think, just a little bit more dirt and 
and uh, then we're gonna throw down our bags of sand and get this rolling. All right, let's get our first bag sliced just because I feel like this is satisfying to watch. There we go, beautiful. And now we time lapse. It's so hot and I'm so close to being done, but I think I need like three or four more bags. This is it so far. I want like another bag here, another two bags over there, and then like one extra bag just to top it all off. So I think four more and I should be in business. I think I'm gonna go inside, eat something, regroup a little bit, cool down, and, uh, and just rock this thing out and then be done with it. On top of the sand that I bought, I got these for free because they were over like on the side and I'm like, dude, what's the deal with those? He's like, just take them before I get in trouble. And you know you're getting a deal when they say that. Now comes the fun part where I have to drag this all the way to the backyard. Let's go! And now comes again the fun part of me dragging these things up and over into here and filling this all up with sand. Okay, turtle nerds, so we cleared out the mulch, we dug a little trench so that way the sand would be deeper in case the turtles want that instead of dirt, and we are finally finished. We've made a second beach area, which is awesome. So here's the graveyard of all the bags of sand, some leftover mulch. I took most of it and just put it right over here to touch up. And here is our beautiful sandy area now. This nice beach that we've got done for our turtles to lay their eggs nicely. I'm actually really happy with this. The play sand is a really nice color. Overall, guys, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out, and uh, I'm very much looking forward to if the turtles use it. And now for the second time this week, I think it's time for a celebratory feeding. Bean here. Look, it's all over you, love. Bean. Oh my goodness. Girl, it's in the water. I know that I've been doing vlog style and that I'm gonna go inside and feed some of the turtles now, but you know what? I'm not gonna show that on camera because I'm totally beat. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.